Okay, uh, well, good morning everybody. Uh, I'm just browsing Twitch forums like I usually do, and I <clears throat> came across another good question. Uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and go ahead and like it from a guy named Defamate, titled, within 15 seconds of joining a new stream, what makes you want to stay versus what makes you want to leave. <clears throat> Just curious as to what people's opinions are on this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I, I probably, uh, I probably say, uh, probably one big thing with me. <clears throat> oh, also, this is also back when I watched other streamers fairly often. Uh, these days, since I uh, do a lot of streaming myself, I hardly watch other streamers. Just you know, just basically too busy. But anyway, back when I was watching them consistently, <clears throat> one big, one really big thing that made me want to leave was the music. I mean, if they were playing um, techno, dubstep, um, EDM, you know, that kind of thing, it was a turn off. I left immediately. Um, if they were playing rap music, I'd leave immediately, <clears throat> especially the modern stuff. I mean, if they were playing like '80s old school rap or something, I could probably I could probably tolerate that. Um, <clears throat> what else? I guess uh, music that I music that I'd probably hear on Walmart radio would probably also would would also make me leave immediately. That's another turn off. Um, <clears throat> I would also say country music, but to be fair, I very very seldom hear country music by any streamers, so less of an issue. <clears throat> uh, let me think what else. I guess um I guess if the uh, if the streamer curses up and down like a sailor, just every fucking every other fucking word of has a fuck shit piss or you know, stuff you know, stuff like that, like you know, like if they're if it looks like if it sounds like they're not really actually forming complete sentences except with swear words, I end up leaving. Now if you're running like raid content or if you're like if you're really into what it, whatever game it is you're playing like real intense and stuff like that I mean I can definitely understand somebody swearing in that situation but you know when it's just totally relaxed and you're still fucking swearing every fucking word and all that shit you know it, it just, it's just a turn off so that makes me leave immediately um let me think what else <clears throat> I guess um Piss poor stream quality would also do it too. Now keep in mind too, it it, it doesn't have to be 60 frames per, frames per second, nor does it have to be like a, a thousand eighty pixels. It doesn't have to be that high. In fact, um, in fact, uh, back with uh, one of the old computers I used to have, one that I bought from Walmart. If somebody had that kind of stream quality, there's no way in hell I'd be able to watch them because it would over overload my computer. So. On some cases, having a super high quality can be a bad thing, because I'm not the only one that owned a potato. I'm sure there's other people out there that own them as well. Uh, but you know, but I, on the other hand, I don't. Somebody who has, you know, somebody has 15 frames per second and 250 to 300, 300 pixels. I mean, come on, man, that that's almost Atari 2600 graphics right there. I mean, you know, that's very hard on the eyes. So, um, I guess uh, from from a technical standpoint, if they don't have a webcam, I'm gone. But usually on all the thumbnails, on all the uh, thumbnails, I can usually they'll show whether or not they have a webcam. So I I'll already know whether or not they have it. And if they don't, I don't I don't visit them. Gotta have a face to the voice. this. Oh, hold on. Not that one. I guess, um... Oh, there was something else. Damn, this thing's hard to click. Something else that would make me want to leave 
if I hear two or more people talking, I'm gone. Um, especially if I was to ever watch somebody who didn't have a webcam, I'm not gonna know which one which one's the streamer. You got all these different voices talking, you know, you know which is which. But um, another another reason why I leave them is uh, I've had too many bad experiences with them. Um, both as a streamer and as a viewer. I mean, I, to me, they're nothing but bad news. You know, as a viewer, I'll, like, type something down in chat, trying to get a conversation going with them, but I'll get completely ignored because they're too, you know, because they're too busy, you know, talking to, talking to somebody else in their, in their Discord or whatnot, you know, and I'm, I'm kind of seen as somebody that's just in the way. I'm seen as an inconvenience. Usually I'm just usually I'm just blown off. Um, it's kind of a it's almost a corollary to or kind of an offshoot of the big time streamers that have like hundreds and thousands of viewers. I mean, you pretty much gonna get ignored by them because they, they got so much damn chat going on in the chat box. I type something down, whoop, up it goes, never even seen and heard again. Um, kind of the same thing here with the uh, the Discord with the Discord dudes. They're like talking to other people. So that that's another thing that makes me leave. If I hear two or more people talking, I'm gone. <clears throat> um, I guess, then I guess uh, to answer this question, what makes you want to stay? Um, not, not to be narcissistic or anything like that, but uh, if I saw another streamer that was also playing vinyl records, hell yeah, I'd be hanging out. I mean, especially if he's playing like rare obscure obscure records. Hey, yeah, I'd stick around. Um if um if the guy seems to be a good conversationalist, like if I type something down in chat and he just you know actually gives me a decent answer, yeah, I'll stick around yeah, I'll stick around a while. You know, it doesn't you know, it doesn't do doesn't do what I often see the high end streamers do. Um where it's all um, yeah, well, I guess you could. Um, I don't know. Um, you'll, you'll probably have to Google it. You know, I mean, if I hear that, you know, I'm gone. But, I mean, basically, if he can make, if he's capable of good conversation, I'll stick around. So. Uh, I know it's, um, I don't have a hard and fast rule on it, but a stream arrangement can make a difference but again it, it it does there has to be some kind of happy medium between between having something there like a webcam um, maybe like a chat box you know you know keep it keep it sparse but at the same time you know it, it's got like I said it's kind of hard to explain but on the other hand what I don't like to see is a freaking Jerry Lewis telephone you know or something like you see on CNN or C-SPAN you know, it's, or ESPN, you got like banners all over here, you got ticker tape going over here, you got, you got ads here and there, and it's like, it's like, where are you? Like, I can't even, I can't hardly see the damn streamer because of all the, all the clutter, you know? Um, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much my opinion on that. Now, to be fair, this, um, this here was somewhat rehearsed. I did scroll. I did scroll down the um, scroll down the thread and look. At, took a quick glance at everybody else's. I didn't go through all. I didn't go through all 122 of them, 22 comments. But I did go through like, I did a quick uh, once over on like half the first page. So, I'll um, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and comment on other posts. But just keep in mind, I'm not trying to call anybody out or embarrass anybody. It's just. A lot of times I can get good inspiration from other people's posts. So, that said, here we go. Astro Otter, yep. Or at the at the very least, if they're into it, you know, if it looked like they're just phoning it in, yeah, I I wouldn't be around long. Um, 
he kind of said the same thing that I was saying earlier. With me, it's somewhere in the middle. Like, again, um, if he's got a, I don't have the best computer in the world. It's an entry level gaming computer. But, uh, if you've got streamers who have like super high quality graphics, um, my computer may not be able to handle it. There are, you know, a few hiccups here and there. So, that being the case, so, see ya. Let me uh, highlight this. Yeah, this, I guess, um, this here would be kind of a turn off as well. I mean, unless it's like a, unless it's like a little tip jar, like at the very lower left corner of their screen or something like that, like totally out of the way, I mean, it'd probably be less of an issue, but I've seen, um, uh, I've seen people have that donation cup, like right there, right towards the center of the screen, you know, kind of, kind of like one of them, one of them awful watermark ads that you see when you watch a video and it's like a pure, like right in the middle. If I see something like that, I'm gone. So, and he kind of said what I was saying earlier too. I mean, if if he's capable of good conversation, then yeah, I'll stick around. Low quality audio. Um. He probably wouldn't like me all that much. I'm a pretty low-fi streamer. See, I mean, I don't... I mean, this is just a cheap $20 microphone that I bought on Amazon. Um, this is a cheap $2 keyboard that I bought at a thrift store. Um... Cheap headphones that I bought some odd years ago, probably out of Walmart. My uh, my tablet that I that I probably paid like seventy, eighty dollars on at Walmart. Um, my record player is a is a Crossley. It's a it's a Crossley that I bought at Target. So you kind of get the picture. Me and him probably wouldn't get along. The worst of all is when using bad gear poorly and their levels are warped. Um, kind of, uh, kind of gray area on that one. If you don't, I mean, if if you got an issue with my mic or if something's too loud slash quiet, if nobody lets me know. You know, I, I can't fix it if I don't know what's broken. I mean, that, it's one of those things I find very annoying. I mean, if if the sound quality is bad, say something. You know, say like your music's too loud or I can't hardly hear you. I mean, we, you know, I don't. I'm not doing this to piss you off. I'm doing this because I have them set based on what, on what I think makes sense. And I do play back my, uh, I do play back my streams from time to time and. You know, it. You know, listening to me and the music I'm playing, I, I if I if I can hear them both close enough, that's how I look at it. But see, if I don't get any uh, help from my viewers, you know, did. You know, if you don't if you don't say anything, then that's as much your fault as it is mine. Yeah, I don't do that. Um. Yeah, he probably wouldn't like me much either. I don't eat like a pig or anything, or I don't eat big, huge gourmet full course meals while streaming or anything like that. But I'll, I'll grab some, I'll grab some uh, Caesar salad. It's kind of a delicacy of mine. I'll grab some Caesar salad out of the refrigerator, and you know, I'll sit there eat some of that, or you know, grab some cinnamon rolls and just you know, eat that while streaming or something. You know, just something to snack on, but nothing major. I've, I've heard of uh, people suggesting you use push to talk. Um, the problem is, is uh, I feel like I'm doing a damn juggling act or spinning plates, trying to, 
trying to hold the mute button down and then trying to, you know, trying to like take a bite of my salad and, you know, and then trying to, you know, it's too acrobatic. Secondly, it's not like, it's not as all you like. I mean, I don't eat like that or anything, so, you know, I do try to keep it quiet. Sound quality seems to be a common theme in this. But seems to be a common theme in this thread. Sound quality, but again, I've said it too. I mean, as long as you know, as long as you're intelligible, it's all I care about. Again, but if the sound quality is super high, you know, it, my computer might have a problem with it, or or here, here's something else I forgot to mention. The speaker that I use. It's just a little thing like this that I bought at Walmart. So. There's times I have to turn the damn thing down if it all, if it gets too loud. So. Um. This I agree with too. But to be fair, um, there's times where I'm moving through menus or whatever. If I'm doing a lot of, making a lot of selections and choices or whatnot, I'm actually too focused on my keyboard to really to really talk it, I I basically can't walk on true gum at the same time so so part part of this I can understand like there's probably other streamers that are like that too they'll just they're too busy typing stuff down or whatnot but uh aside from that if I see a if I see a streamer doing like absolutely nothing or just doing like really low impact casual stuff and still not saying a word or anything yeah that's that's a turn off for me as well I mean, especially true when especially when I see them with a the headphone on with a little microphone right there by their mouth but they're not saying anything you know that 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 also kind of bugs me as well Moving forward. Yep. Like in this one. This is probably probably my biggest turnoff right here. But but think of it, it think of it is it's usually a techno and dubstep that's the obnoxious stuff. It's the rap music that's obnoxious. Um Walmart radio music it is, in a way, obnoxious. I have to hear the shit every day at work, so, and a lot of times it involves auto tune or, or top 40 pop music that I've probably heard almost all my life that I'm sick of hearing. So, at least, my, at least in my mind, close enough. Uh, loudness, again, if it's too loud, I mean, if it's too loud, say something. Otherwise, you're almost you're almost as, as much at fault as a person that's blaring the stuff to begin with. Because again, I don't. If they're anything like me, they're they don't have it loud because they're trying to be jerks. They just don't know any better. So there's that as well. Sympathetic streamer on the stream feels to me um, an offshoot of what I said earlier. If he's a good conversationalist, I'll stick around. Um, I think I said something like that earlier. I mean, if, if there's too many, um, if there's too many banners, if there's too much, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If there's too much UI menu menu stuff all over the place. Yeah, it's a turn off. But at the same time, I you know, having an extra window of something there would be nice. A webcam definitely. Uh, maybe a chat box as well. Webcam and a chat box at the very least. You know, so kind of in the middle.
Yeah, so his his turn offs are pretty much mine. Um, exception of uh, maybe that one. Does the game play on a really cool part, or is it some generic part where a viewer who never played the game? Yeah, I, I don't understand the question, so I'll just keep moving. You probably like mine then. Typically, when I stream, I usually stream Final Fantasy XIV, and I often play uh, vinyl records in the background. So, because um, on one, total and complete silence can get kind of drives me nuts. But then again, listening to the repetitious in-game stuff, especially the music, also gets annoying as well. So, thus, thus the vinyl records. Yep. Okay, I'm definitely going to be looking over this one. So get a good audio set up. Um, he'd, he'd have to define good, but to me, if you got a webcam and a microphone and I can, I can see and hear you, if I can see and hear you, under, you know, intelligibly, then... That's that's okay with me. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, decided to use a cam. Uh, make yourself look nice. Um, uh, <laughs> you have to blame my parents for that one. I mean, if you're talking like, if you're talking like, underwear model magazine looks, uh, I'm far from it, buddy. And secondly, a lot of the, I mean, a lot of mine is due to the fact that uh, I stream out here in my living room, and it, believe it or not, it's, it's actually more comfortable for me sitting on the floor than it is sitting on the couch, because um, on the floor, I have a perfect eye level view of the screen. It's just right there, perfect. I can see the whole thing, just the right distance. I mean, it's it's just perfect. Um, the web the webcam placement isn't the best. It's a little too high up for me because I, have, if I'm actually trying to talk to the camera, I often have to look up at it like I'm doing now. But a uh, little history on that. But uh, back when I, uh, back when I was gaming, well, while sitting on my couch, here I better switch to OBS for this. I used to game like this. The problem is, is uh, sometimes I really get into an intense, mo get into like intense combat or whatnot, and you know. But the problem is, is uh, eventually over a long period of time, this will put a lot of pressure on my shoulders. And uh, there's been times where I've called in sick to work because my shoulders hurt so bad from me doing this so much. So. Because of that. Ta -da. I stream on the floor now. So again, um, uh, for some it could be due to laziness, but for me, it's out of necessity. It's more important to provide the audience with a non-offensive experience for their senses than it is to cover all grounds. Bing, bingo. Uh, I guess like the old saying goes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I mean, it, it's, it's, it's not, oh, how can I explain, how can I put this? It's, it, it shouldn't be you that decides if you're ugly or not. That's gonna be a decision that's left to everybody else to see you. So, Kind of the same, kind of the same thing here. Yeah. Um, engagement kind of nebulous. There were back when I was streaming on a PS4. 
you were, um, you were given, um, you had a viewer account on there, and, um, the problem with this was, uh, the moment I see, the moment that number went from zero to one, all of a sudden I'd doo -doo, go into engagement mode. Hey, man, how you doing, man? What's up, man? Welcome to the stream, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, eventually, and then moments later, that one would become a zero. So, you want to be engaging, but at the same time, you don't want to scare away the lurkers. And uh, there's been times where, back when I was actually watching streamers consistently, I'd go on a stream and then moments later, Hey, Joe Schmo, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Meaning, you know, I just I just wanted to come in and watch. All of a sudden, I'm being called out and pew, I left almost immediately. So, I bet on both sides of that. There's a huge difference if you're if you're having fun in the game, commenting, reacting to it, like when the jet lasts, perfect. That's simple tech tip, tips, nailed it too. Um, Almost want to downvote that. Silence and loudness. Uh, this one here, I'm probably going to have to read a while. Sound processing. Uh, the only kind of sound processing I have is uh, looking at the um, at the sound levels on my OBS, and that's it. So. And again, I'm. Um, again, if I'm if my if I'm too loud, if the mic sounds too loud, let me know. You know, I'll I'll turn it down. The opposite is also depressing. You know, sub to one player. Okay, and I know I know what he's talking about too. Um, up, up, down, down. That's um, one of the pro wrestlers on there. He's a real, he's a real big video game junkie. But uh, this is uh, this is something I'd have to watch later though. I've seen a couple of his uh, videos, and I know what this guy's talking about. something else I should probably mention too um chat interaction is a it's a two man job I mean if you're not I mean if you're not giving any action you're not getting any action I mean if, if you're not even talking to the streamer the streamer's not gonna streamer's not gonna talk to you or if he is he's just gonna be talking out loud to himself like I always do when I stream so okay um I'm just not beginning to realize that uh the rest of the stuff going on down is just going to be redundant. So, I pretty much said my piece, and I pretty much, um, I pretty much gleaned everything I'm going to glean from the, uh, rest of the forum post, from the forum post. So, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Well, thanks for watching, and take care.